everybody. I'm Marcy Goldman from BetterBaking.com and I'm wishing you all a happy new year, a sweet Shana Tava. And I've, right now, this is the time of year for the round challah. And I've seen a lot of different videos and wonderful instructions on taking four braids and somehow maneuvering them. But I'm gonna show you a very quick trick of how to make it very simple. So even if you're not terribly skilled, as I am not, it's basically, you make a normal braid and it works so much better off camera. But in any case, you just make a normal braid, a three braid challah, you pinch the ends. Here we go. Whoop. Okay, this is a very familiar looking challah, beautiful and plump. I'm gonna just stretch it out just a little bit. I'm gonna make it, when I say gobble its own tail pretty well. I pinch the ends, you have that beautiful round form, you have the braid. The next thing you do is you take your regular spring form pan, nine or 10 inch will do. Take your beautiful challah, which is of course not yet risen. You put in your pan, that is your form. You beat up an egg. Again, something really familiar if you make challah at all. And this time it's in the brown pan. It's a little bit sweeter, this challah. Uh, other, otherwise known as a fegula, meaning little bird. And you just glaze it as you would your normal challah. I don't seed it. For the new year, you can make it plain this way or it has raisins in it, even though it's, and it's extra sweet. Or you can put some coarse sugar, a dusting of cinnamon. Um, but I really like it very plain and simple because you'll see when it's baked, and I'll give you the shot of that, it's just beautiful as is, it's ceremonial. And that, my friends, is the easiest way to make a round color pan, one single braid as you usually do, and you're all set. Shana Tava from betterbaking.com.